Dave? This is bad news. It's Oasis, they're temperamental, they're moody, and guess who's keeping them waiting? <laughs> I need to be surprised you guys were early. I, I hardly expected you to be on time. Are you punctual for things yeah. as a band? Uh, yeah. Is that a business yeah. thing? Like you do? That's rare. And there's no point in keeping people waiting. If, you see, the thing is, right, if somebody says, get there for nine, and we get there for nine, and then they don't get there for nine, that means that they are our slaves for the day because we've been there before them, which you're now you know, about to find out. <laughs> if you were sick to death about, uh, and especially the British press, writing about the rivalry between you and your brother. I could understand that. But I wonder if you guys had anything to do with that. What, me and my brother? Hmm. Yeah, of course we have. <laughs> you know, because it's like, we don't get on or anything like that, but, I mean, we could put on an act and pretend to be like best mates and all that, but we don't. Something needs to be said, then you say it. I mean, it's boring, but that's why I'll do interviews no more. I can't bother with it anymore. It's just, it's just boring. It's not always boring. Oh, it is. No, it isn't. Well, you come sit here and let me interview you then. <laughs> that's how boring it is. <laughs> why is it boring to talk about your music? Well, it's not boring to talk about music. It's boring to sit there and yeah. go on about. It's never boring to talk about the music. It's boring to talk about everything else other than the music. Art anything else that doesn't concern music, like why don't you and your brother get on, or what about you taking loads of drugs and smashing hotel rooms, well, that's boring, you know what I mean, anyone can smash an hotel room up. I suppose you've done it yourself, once in a while in the past. Oh yeah, just last night I think it was a couple, Actually, I did two that. of them last yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it was more than two. I was going for three, I got a little tired, yeah. you, know, you kept me up late. Yeah. With well, there you go. Yeah. Um, once you break that three barrier, <laughs> there's no going back. Then you're then. famous. Then you're famous. Then <laughs> Then, then you can actually join the band. Is it worth the aggravation yeah, to find yourself a job when there's nothing worth working for? It's a crazy situation, but all I need I see that's an alcohol. Well, let's talk about music then, because that's what I enjoy. Yeah. Why do you think that <coughs> definitely maybe is the fastest selling indie release in UK history? Because it's good. Basically, it's just as simple as that. Not being elegant or anything, I think the music that comes out of this place in America is dreadful. I don't think there's anybody else doing anything at the moment which is saying anything. I think the people who write songs and they're just a bit too self centered and tend to sing about themselves and the childhood and their past and how crap their life is. I don't think people just particularly want to listen to records by other people about how bad their childhood was, because that's just, again, that's just boring. It's like, so I did better, you had a rough childhood, join the club. When you see all this footage of yourself, the videos, the it. pictures, I hate it. you know, yeah? I hate I, I like photograph taking, I can't stand. You see, like, this is all right now, because this is real, right, and nobody's posing and all the rest of it. But it's like, when you're doing photographs yeah. and videos, and it's like, oh, that thing that you just done them before, you know, that thing where you, like, you scratched your ear with your little finger, and you go, <laughs> go could you just do that again? Or could you just do it with, like, a bit more of a, like, European, sort of, like, Eastern, Western, sort of, like, uh, Shiatsu vibe? <laughs> 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 like, get this guy out of here. Uh, get out of here. You know. 
But no, I haven't thought of going to take it. Just chill up there a bit and you're still there getting this crick in your neck while they're like f***ing about with the flash tape. You're going to take the lens cap off. You know. I hate all that, I can't stand that. And then you look back at videos and they always edit it wrong so they make you look like a knob. So. But you like it, though. Yeah, I like the Eastern European Western. Not so bad. That's a killer. But you don't mind getting a picture taken? No, I don't mind. I don't mind. I usually come out looking like a complete idiot, but I don't, I don't mind it. Man. I like meeting the fans and all the rest of it and, you know, doing autographs and all that because you've got to do it for them because they make you what you are, but meet and greets and, oh, hi, come and meet my wife. It's like, why does she run that TV station in yeah. Canada? Is that the one? No, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah. um, but everything else is just um, incidental nonsense. It doesn't really mean anything. It's just A lot of people analyse music about what it means, what's the social content and the political content and the sexual content <coughs> and all the rest of it. And all that dude, really does not matter at the end of the day. If it sounds good, yeah. you buy it. If it doesn't sound good, then you don't buy it. And then you play it for as long as it makes you feel good. And then it doesn't make you feel good, you throw it in the bin with the rest of the, the stuff and then you just go on to something else. That's, that is pop music, that's what it's supposed to be about. Doing festivals, especially the English ones, especially Glastonbury, it's like <clears throat> it's really weird. It's like being at um, backstage. It's really, really childish. It's like you got all these bands who are like, especially on the stage of Iran, which is the enemy stage. And there's like 30 bands on on a day, and they're all sort of part of the same, I wouldn't say genre of music, but you know they're all playing to the same crowd, and all the same crowd will buy like various different bands' records. So backstage there's all this like there's all these little camper vans and all that and you all got about and there's all this like little rivalry thing that goes on there. It's like they all like stand there and ignore each other. <laughs> oh there's Oasis. F <laughs> Led skeletons, ruffians, look at them throwing chairs at each other and snorting drugs. And it's like, you know, all, all you know, all these English bands, it's all like this rivalry thing and it's like favour man, you know what mm. I mean? Because they all know right that they're crap and we're the best band in England. So it's like don't ignore us for the fact, you know what I mean? It's not our fault. It's like pay homage. <laughs> <Pay homage>. <laughs> 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 Drop to your knees at, yeah. the, at yeah, the shrine of the You know, just bring cameras, you know, video, video equipment, clothes, money. Bring gifts, uh. yeah. Frankincense, man. Yeah.